about me. You don't know nothing, keep it real with me. She said she ain't trying to deal with me. Okay, cool, you can sell that seat. We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Dallas Cowboys and the Miami Dolphins. This taken in about four yards deep. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. Second down on the play. Second and ten at the 25-yard line. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Here's Elliott. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. They'll try to run for it with Elliott. And he will not get there as they stop him short right around the 34-yard line. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. Brings up fourth down. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. This is fielded at the 27. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and it'll be Dolphin football. Their own 31-yard line. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. Here we go. Here we go. On first down, Pryor. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. Right back to him on first down. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. 
Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 28. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. They'll look to throw here on first down. A oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And the Cowboys here on third down, bringing in an extra defensive back. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. And this is brought in by Pryor. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. They'll run on first down. Pryor, and this carry terminated at the eight-yard line. Good stick skill showing the power, but just not much room to operate. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Second and four. They'll look to throw here. And it's caught. And he'll take this into the end zone for the Dolphins touchdown. From eight yards out. And the Dolphins are going to take a first quarter lead. The touchdown giving him the first quarter lead. Remember, they lost a rough game two weeks ago. Then they had to sit through the open week, but a good start here. And just think about everyone around them, everyone around the organization. When you lose headed into that open week, everyone's cringing because you don't have a chance to get on the horse and ride it again for at least two weeks. Well, they were able to take that time, use it constructively, and now they're back in form. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And this will make it into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't come before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. There he goes, Amari Cooper. He's at the 30, 10, touchdown, Cowboys. Amari Cooper, 76 yards. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? And this will be good. Off the right, upright, but he got a favorable bounce, and he gets it to go. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Oh, 
And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 21-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Jalen Smith, the Notre Dame man, in on the tackle. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your... And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. Out of the gun now on third down. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back at the two. I think most quarterbacks would love to have the goal line actually extend up into the air and turn into a wall. They could put their back against it and know exactly where they are on the field so they don't end up in the end zone. Didn't do it on that play, but perilously close to the goal line. And he's able to get it out quickly, and this is not a bad kick here. Oh, the return is Jones. A very nice job on the run back there. He'll get 23 yards all told. And the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. Inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 yards there, first down. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. On first and 10, Prescott. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. Yeah, the Cowboys are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. They get ten more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. season and the Cowboys have taken the lead that almost looked too easy and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy yeah I agree with you totally on that one I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year the consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Over first and 10 at their own 21-yard line.
First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battles. But when this ball's tipped and intercepted, picked off near the 29. And a big return will get him all the way down to the 35. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Elliott. No, oh, Elliott going to be hit. He coughs it up. Loose football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And they have possession. And they have it at the 38-yard line. Dolphins. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. On second down now, Pryor. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. 14, Dolphin 7. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. James Washington was the intended target. And it's second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. So a line of scrimmage, still the 39 on second and 10. throw complete to Washington and here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36 he'll get only three there so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down the shotgun he'll look to throw he's gonna rifle one deep left and this is caught and all the way in for a miami touchdown now he's having a nice little first half here partner and it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come i mean two touchdowns already here through the second quarter there could be plenty more before this game is over and we've got a good one brewing we're all knotted up at 14. Jason Sanders. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. At their own 23-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it down, they punch it in on you. That's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Elliott, toss right. And 
he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the former Cowboy, Byron Jones. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Intercepted. The brand of the passing game for both of these teams is going to be affected as the game goes along. It's not looking like the rain's going to let up anytime soon. So that might mean a few more wobbly passes and wide receiver slips. And this one winds up getting... Now the ball comes loose. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. And maybe that one caused by the weather. Of course, the rain coming down. Charles, can you maybe, when you're carrying that football, grip it too tight in the rain? I think that you can, and it's such a delicate balance, too, because when you grip it so tight, sometimes it'll slip out from your body. You squeeze it too hard, and it'll pop out on its own. I've actually had running backs talk to me about that, that when they've tried too hard, even in perfect conditions, the ball gets away from them. You've got to find that good balance, carrying it firmly, get it the same same time under control. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Tim carry now for Elliott. It'll be a five-yard pickup there. So from second and 13, they're back to a more manageable third and eight. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards a carry at the moment. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. And this is going to be incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards up first and second down. A nice work on the return as he gets about 15 yards back. And that will come the offense as they take over. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And they got across the 50 last time but fumbled and turned it over so they'll be looking to have a short-term memory here, Mr. Davis. Not only a short-term memory, but a whole lot better ball security. <laughs> because if they take care of the ball, continue to move it, their chances of scoring some points, they've got to feel pretty good about. They thought they had things moving in the right direction last time. Fumbles, they don't just affect you on offense, they affect your overall team because now your defense has to make that stand up. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Pryor, and he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Two straight shots on the ground, now on third do you go to the air. I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Uh-oh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. No gain on the play, and what to do now on fourth and goal. Brings up fourth and goal. Let me breathe for a minute, man. Let me breathe for a minute. Let me breathe. It's too hot, drop the top off the wagon. Lay back, back, fire. A field goal would break the tie, but look at this. Instead, they're going to go for it on fourth and goal. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. 
They'll try and run for it. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Dolphins have broken our tie as they take the lead. So they went for it from the one on fourth and goal. And they got it done. Is this the new NFL? This is the new NFL. This is the updated NFL, and I like it. I know that quarterbacks across the league have spent the entire offseason and even during the season lobbying their coaches to go for it more on fourth down. Let's go get it, because nowadays you've got to score points to win games in the NFL. You can't just rely on your defense to hold them. I think the quarterbacks want to eliminate field goals inside of 30 yards, probably. Well, listen, they have enough confidence in themselves that they can call plays and make plays that they won't need those field goals inside the 30. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. Wide open receiver complete. And he's brought down after a very nice game. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. On first down, Elliott. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Kyle Van Noy in on the stop. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Throwing on second and eight. Prescott looking deep in the direction of Cooper. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by the former Cowboy, Byron Jones. And he will take this all the way up past the 40-yard line. Second quarter action with 159 remaining. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll send you up to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there, and he'll have stats and scores from a busy Sunday in the NFL. They'll run on first down. Pryor, and he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. The defense was dialed into the pass. They overlooked the draw play. And how often do we talk about the oldies are still goodies? Because that draw play comes straight from Coach Paul Brown playbook going all the way back to the original Cleveland Browns. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Jalen Smith. Came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He's going to launch it for Washington. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Xavier Woods with a pick. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. 25-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure, if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. Thank <laughs> you. 
They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to, and if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. Now this throw caught left side. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here and it's good for a first. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the shotgun now. Here's an inside give. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Watch the run, watch the run. 54 is much, 54 is much. Second and four. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Let's go, D, tighten up. Let's go, D, tighten up. Right there, 54. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. So it would appear they will not be able to add to their lead on this opening drive of the second half. Yeah, if another touchdown was scored there, now we're talking about a two-score game, and they're probably on their way of creating an excellent gap between them and their pursuers. But how about the defense there able to step up and keep themselves in this one? Call it an even 40-yard punt, 7-0 on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Their defense just came up with a stop right out of the locker room, and now can the offense take advantage? Yeah, we don't want to turn this into something that it's not. It's only a one-score game, so it's not exactly a crucial possession. But at the same time, they'd like to get things started and at least come away with three points. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. doing he's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage no gain on the play there so that doesn't help now they're looking up at a third and nine situation and it brings up third down the shotgun it's Prescott letting one fly deep for Cooper and Prescott his third interception picked up by the former Cowboy Byron Jones I think it's safe to say this is a game he's not going to forget anytime soon Charles three interceptions it's rare that we see three interceptions by one team let alone by an individual and I think that after the second one he's probably telling his teammates any ball that's in the air it's going to be mine and that turned out to be true Nowhere to go that time. 
He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. stopped immediately there the wide receiver no gain on the play there so that doesn't help now they're looking up at a third and nine situation no gain on the play brings up third down and nine That's complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Dolphins have a first down. And to give this time to the tailback. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. They'll keep it on the ground. Pryor. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. On third down, low. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. That catch good for only a couple. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. A gain of four brings up third and four. to throw to the goal line but it's incomplete so two third down conversions on this drive but not able to get a third and now they deal with fourth down Jason Sanders for the Dolphins field goal a 30 the kick by Sanders is good and the lead works its way up to 10 24 14 so the drive stalls out inside the 15 yard line but they do get three and I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. But kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Pressure 
Prescott from the gun. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by the former Cowboy, Byron Jones. Charles, are you kidding me? Four interceptions? I mean, that's a good season for a lot of defensive backs. A lot of reason to get voted into the Pro Bowl. When you have four in one game, that means talk about a campaign slogan, right? I got four. Send me to the Pro Bowl, guys. What a game we've experienced watching this one. A Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Throw now on first down. And a hook up over the middle to Pryor. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That one good for 13 and a Dolphin first down. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England just, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. And he'll get it here to the 10 yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Brings up second and four at the 10 yard line. They'll keep it on the ground. Pryor, and he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. That gives him 98 yards in this game, and he's got to feel pretty good about that, but the entire offense does. The big thing, though, Brandon, they've got to get to 100, though. You think he knows he's at 98? I think someone has told him by now, and here's the thing. Getting to 100 or more is tangible evidence that you've had a nice day running the football. And that's what his offensive line wants for him and for themselves. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Sanders' kick is good. And that will stretch the lead up to 13. So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But it's still eight up time. Got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's dark close. First and 10 at their own 22-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass. And finally we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Behind the chain, second and 12. Prescott to throw it. And he's got his receiver, Cooper. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Hey, 
So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Looking deep downfield. And now here is another interception. Marcus May. Marcus May with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offensive coordinator, the quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself confident. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, give him 14. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. Fryer. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 15 yards on the play, first down. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary, figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. A run there on first down and a pretty good one of five yards, so make it second and five. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. He'll look to throw. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try and throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. On is the punter, Hawk, as he gets this one away. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter.
So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Prescott. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Short play like that in this situation this late. That's a win for the defense. No doubt. And I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there, as that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. A gain there of 21 yards. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And they've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Now a desperation throw deep down. And that's caught at the 25. Touchdown, Cowboys. A big play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Cowboys have cut it to within a score. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I Let's am excited about this. And I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. They get one more as the extra points up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So here comes the kickoff, and what now is just a one-score, six-point game? Boy, a bad break. Just got the lead on the touchdown, and now they're going to have to go on defense at the 40-yard line here as things get good in the fourth quarter. tell you far from ideal conditions to play in but neither offense has had much trouble plenty of points to go around first and ten they'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground and yeah, he'll work free from one tackle but that's about all as he's taken down the 45 give him five on the carry there and it'll be second down brings up second and five stopping behind the line. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. times they've been able to contain him thus far he's over 100 yards for the game but he lost a bit off his total on that carry here's Matt Hawk now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today here's Jones on the return 35 yards that time on the punt and the offense will take over with a new set of downs
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? Oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Taylor Rapp with a pick. Yet another interception, and I just had to double check my math. But it is now eight between last week and this week. Well, I just used the calculator. I didn't worry about double checking it. But the thing that always throws me when you see quarterbacks in this type of a bad spot. They're trying to figure out what they can do to change it, and sometimes they try too hard, and they never get out of it. And that's where he is right now. He's just locked in in a really bad way. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? <laughs> and the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins, and they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot. Of, but now it's about taking the ball away taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory. So for the Dolphins, it may not be too late to salvage their season as the win moves them to 2-5 and five now on the year. And they'll get to stay put for a few days as they'll host the Buffalo Bills next week. Meanwhile, for Dallas, things are kind of getting ugly as they drop to 1-7 and seven now on the year. And they'll take this loss into the bye as they'll be back in action in Week 10. Party going up. I jump with the ground. 